So we're here in a traditional tea house, one of the oldest tea houses in Shanghai, to enjoy the tradition of high quality herbal tea. I'm getting the Ginostemma or the Jagolin. Terry's getting the Oolong. And Damon, I think, is getting another one. I'm not sure which one. Oh, the, the green tea, the Sencha. There's several different types of teas you can have, but the most basic is the white tea, sometimes called the silver tea. There's a green tea, there's a oolong tea, and there's a red tea, which we call black tea. The white tea is for really, really warm weather. We didn't get that today because it's not that hot. It's, it's in the high 20s, about 26 degrees centigrade, and therefore green tea, and the one we chose is Dragon Well because it's a very cooling tea at those temperatures. But the oolong is when there's a little bit of wind that's getting a little bit more fall, which is starting to be right now. So the oolong is between the green tea and the black tea, or what they call the red tea. Silver tea is when it's really hot out, it cools you down the most. And, and sometimes you can get ones called dancing silver needles, which are very cool. They got little water bubbles and they dance up and down in your cup. And they're quite expensive. We didn't get those today because it was not that hot. Green tea is for warmish weather. It'll help cool you down quite a bit. Whereas oolong tea is more kind of in the fall where there's a little wind in the air, which there is right now. And we preferred that. Plus we got a little bit of jet lag, so we got a ginseng oolong tea. And then there is black tea, or what they call red tea, which you almost only drink in the winter. So in ancient times, the emperor was so much clustered in his palace that he couldn't see anything. So he was on a trip in southern China, down in the Canton or the Guangzhou area, and he wanted to go out among the peasants. But he couldn't because of the emperor. He could only travel with 100,000 guards. So he decided to take eight of his most trusted guards, and they all dressed up like peasants, and they walked out into the woods. And as they were walking, they got tired, and so they decided to go into the little tea house. He didn't want anyone to know he was the emperor. He just wanted to be a common, everyday person. So he walked in, and they went and placed the teapot right in front of him. And that meant he had to serve the tea. Well, his guards weren't even allowed to sit at a table with him, and here they're sitting at a table or drinking, and now the emperor was actually pouring tea for him. So what they decided to do, they had to kowtow or bow to the emperor whenever he did anything, but if they bowed, that would be no good. So what all the soldiers did is they took their finger and went like this, and just kowtowed with their finger. And so ever since that, whenever you're given tea, you go like this, and it says, thank you, I respect you as the emperor.